What are we like? We, like do, we do not know what we're doing, no. okay? This is how not to do it. Hello. I'm Nisha, this is Mike, and we're restoring a 45 foot narrowboat and turning it into a tiny, floating, off-grid home. bring all the bricks in and then um, yeah just lay down more ballast in the bays that have been painted and blacked and then there are a few bays that still need to be scraped oh maybe not scraped but backed hand and then blacked and then the bricks can go in them oh, it's a boiling hot day that's why we're dressed I'm literally dressed in a skirt I was like, do I have anything that hasn't that has been washed that is light enough for hauling bricks around in a boat in this scorching heat and this was it. So yeah. This boat This boat is so wobbly. I can't wait till all the ballast is on here and hopefully that'll help. Hello, sorry. <laughs> Very warm outside, like extremely, extremely warm, like a good 25, 30 degrees. And we're in a metal box. Great stuff. Um, yeah, right. we can only move some of the bricks because only some of it's been back sands and, and oxide and tarred. So probably only that little section there. Yeah, that's what um, I just said. Cool. She's already doing it. Already said it. Already shit it, love. I'll go set the noose. I've got a little tiny solar panel. Sort of little 20 watt thing, just and a new and a uh, charger controller, just to put on the back on the yeah. on the back deck, just to charge up the um, a battery that was left down there because we went to go and and the bilge pump. Yeah, that's the thing. So we went to look at the engine bay. We were going to scrape and paint. Mm. We scraped some of it. Well, you scraped some of it. Um, but they had water in the bottom of it, and I turned the bilge on, mm. and it didn't have enough guts to put it up the uh, up the pipe. So as soon as we turned the engine on, it was fine. Yeah. But we don't want to keep doing that every five seconds, especially when you're in a marina. So um, I'm going to hook a little charger up to it and get rid of the big solar panel on the top on the roof for now. Yeah, that's something I've got to do today. Oh, flies everywhere. Oh. We've just moved, what, 200 bricks? Yeah, so we've got to now move them from outside mm -hmm. in here. And we've got we've left all the windows open and we've got all the doors open. And, it and it's still boiling in here. Yeah. Do you want to start bringing the bricks in? I'm just going to start putting the solar panel on. Mike's installing a the solar panel. It's temporary. Temporary solar panel. But it's fine. I'm only doing it for a temporary for now. Just a cheapy little solar panel for like 30 quid. It's just so we can actually charge the bilge pump batteries up. Otherwise, when we did the other day, the bilge pump wasn't working because yeah. it didn't have any power. What is it going on a plank of wood for? 
just so I can leave it in there and I can pick it up and it's not just rattling around, being bounced around in there and broken. Mm. <laughs> he's sitting, he's standing on the rope. How? I don't know. <laughs> You're so smart. I'm impressed. By the way, mm. I was thinking of making an intro for the vlog. We'll see. Mm. Right. This week on the adventures of Rosie and Jim. You should try to set a camera up. I feel <laughs> falling over joists, and one of them brought the wrong shoes. All Guess who? <laughs> All okay. coming up on the latest episode of Why the Hell Did We Do This and It's So Hot in Here. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. The reason we've also got them for driveway bricks is because they're good for outdoor weather. Because normal concrete slabs and curbstones that we seem to have in here already um, suck up the water and then they hold it. And you can get quite a lot of moisture come back up through the floor or sit on your freshly coated floor. <laughs> um, so these shouldn't suck up the moisture too much. Yeah, we're leaving these bricks out. Here, 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 here. Because we need to put joists on here and drill through this and then bolt them up. Mm. Um, well, I've cut them all to length. I just haven't been able to fit them down yet. So once the ballast is all in, then I can do that. But we're just going to leave this section open. And then we need to take these ones out. Just this side, just this row. Um, just so I can get your hand under there and bolt it up. But, um, just in case you look at it and go, it's not all filled. There's a reason for that. Also, they're really heavy. Don't, if you ever have a boat and you've got that as ballast, mm -hmm. just leave where it is. Mm -hmm. Don't even bother picking it up. Leave where it is. That is some heavy stuff. This is the progress so far. We're gonna try and put some rubber strips down now and then we're gonna put those, um, what are they called? Paving stones, I don't know. Um, we're going to put those into those bays, I think, or this one, or all of them. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We're going to have two of these rubber strips per cement block. Mm -hmm. Nice boxes. Always. Do you know how many times I've had to edit sections of well, the vlog because your crack is on show? Can't help that they're loose. <laughs> I'm gonna leave some gaps at the end because where the floor bars and the wall bars meet, they leave a gap. Not this sort of big. And it allows any water that goes in here to run to the lowest point, which I think is the back or it's the below the weed hatch. You think where so? Where our is. So that all the water will collect that way. Instead, but if you block them off, it will stop it and then it will just fill up. So you mean you're gonna leave gaps like that? Yes. And there's gaps around the edges of the bricks as well. So water can pass through. Not that one. There's enough water. It's just these will go up right up against you otherwise. Yep. But I feel like that's a bit high now. Is it too high? Well then how did how was that in there before? Squish the strips down. In there. So it's too high really? Mm -hmm. It's actually this is bang on the same level. So it's the strips? It's the strips. 
Do we have to use them? There's no room for strips. So we either have to not use them. Yeah, or not use them. Or not use the cement. So, I mean, it's lasted this long of not using strips. There were strips? Well, on some of them, not all of them. These big ones, there wasn't. There's none here, there wasn't there. Sense. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Why is it like that? Oh, it's because I moved them from that side to there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like so much more work than a house. Plus, in a house you actually have separate rooms where it's a, even if it's a flat, but you have to have the same things as a house does in a small space. Yeah, I think it's because it's a small space. Like it's, it's just a bit more difficult to, to work in, I guess, because you've got to shift things around all the time, like all of this that's just had to be moved. Um, you can't just take things from one room. Nope. and put them in another. Nope. But then again, you don't really do that at home, do you? Don't gonna, you're not going to take the bedroom out of your, your bed out of your bedroom and start putting it in your living room or something, are you? No, but you've got more square footage to, like... Oh, yeah. Move it around, I guess. But it's also probably, what, triple the price to buy one of those? One of what house? A house you're at. This one, you don't like your neighbours, so you don't need your area. Move off, it doesn't matter. So I've drilled a slightly bigger hole on the top here to take this. So it goes down flush and doesn't stick above the thing like that. Mm -hmm. They're only tiny. Yes, but the old ones are tiny. The old ones were coach bolts, and I don't like them because they snap off, which they have done when I snap them. I snap them off. But these are the same thread; they're just a different size head. But I'm not massively worried about them putting them through because I've done this tight mm. in there. So I've done, I think, I've done it one mil bigger. So I think it's a six mils, and I used a seven. I think hole is slightly out of alignment. Of course it is, because it wouldn't be easy, would it? Never. I'm also using nylock nuts, which have got a nylon plastic coating on the inside of them. They're blue. Yeah, which means that gets caught in the thread and it stops it from undoing itself. Whereas the old ones, I think, just had some random aluminium square thing, which was rubbish. We're not replacing all of the floor joists, are we? We're keeping um, this one, no. this one, and most of the floor joists are okay to keep. Yes. The only reason these ones are being replaced is because this one was under the bathroom, so that, and this was rotten, it was nasty. Same with this one. And then these ones, that go all the way back there were only half because we had the waste tank so they were, the waste tank obviously sat on the metal and then we had the the, the timbers went up to the waste tank but now they had to cut them out to pull the waste tank out to then get it up we're working with the camera it is isn't it you turn around it's like oh hello i'm used to it but yeah. well yeah that's true i'm not used to it as you can tell <laughs> um, you like a little close up there, that's alright. I'm used to doing like educational content, I'm not used to like vlogging. I'm educational, this is how not to do it. Um, 
No, I, I honestly, I'm a joiner and a carpenter by trade, and I do building as well. When it comes to boats, apart from researching YouTube and looking at boat books as I've grown up, I know nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I'm just applying Same. <laughs> building stuff to this and a little bit of knowledge that I've picked up. So, criticise me all you want. I don't know what I'm doing either. If you've got ratchets, get the floppy ratchet spanners. Even these are the cheapest things I could find. And occasionally they like to fall apart and I just screw them back together again. But they have got me out of so many holes. So I can get into most places. It's a little bit bent over there. Very bent. But that is the timber, unfortunately. Does it matter very much or not? No, what I'll do is I'll put a packer underneath that bit. We'll glue a packer on top of that just to bring it up, back up again. Hey, look. So at the moment it's doing that. We'll put something on that just so it does this. And it'll be flush and it'll be fine. Yeah. Three, two, one. Tell them what you just told me um so i found a website last yeah. night i can show you <laughs> the floor <laughs> not fully obviously but i found a website where you take whatever photo you take of a room you can then upload it onto this and then you choose your floor covering and it will automatically um sort of superimpose a floor of that covering so you get to see what it looks so you like get to see what it looks like on each room um, so we've done that for the boat just because I just wondered what it would look like and I thought actually that's not Maybe, that's maybe not too bad. We'll use that. We'll be using that website a lot. <laughs> we'll link to it below. Yes, we shall. Want my help? <laughs> Heading back to the boat today and First things first, we've got to turn it around, I think. It's the only way we can get an eight before sheet through our front of the boat. Yeah. Oh. What's the back? Yeah, that's the back. Yeah, that's the back. Yeah, we're going to try and turn the boat around first, then uh, get the pie, get the insulation on the boat, and uh, get a crack it. Finish in one, one, about one third of the boat to deck the boat floor, <laughs> the whole boat. That would be nice. I feel like I say that all the time. <laughs> it's well, getting it's, there. It is getting there. It just depends on your definition of where, doesn't it? Hopefully that will do. This is do. the bit that I don't know anything about. I'm just, I know obviously it makes sense having insulating on the floor because it's cold. And I've seen people insulate the floor. <laughs> What are we like? We do, this. <laughs> we do not know what we're doing, no. okay? Uh, I hate when that happens. Uh. <laughs> now you know my woes. My taping woes. I just said, check that out. It's all got women doing it. <laughs> Not that I'm against it, just it's impressive. Because normally it's just, here's a man doing a job, here's another man doing a job, here's yep. a man doing another job. Well, at the moment we've got a woman doing loft insulation. Got uh, her in her shed. Because we can. 
uh, her doing a garage door. Because we can. And also because doing a, a greenhouse. Because we can. Six, seven bays that have tough left. My arm hurts. If you've ever wondered if it's easy to no. vlog. <laughs> I didn't finish talking. <laughs> if it's easy to vlog a narrow boat build, the answer is no, because <laughs> because there's literally nowhere to put the camera. <laughs> Alright, while he's doing that, I'm going to get a uh, YouTube thumbnail. <laughs>